Hi everyone, my name is Sandile Mkize. I am a software engineer, a small business owner, and I am a final year finance student as well. Um, so as you can tell by my top, uh, I'm a huge Springbok fan as well. Uh, but what you can't tell from this video is that I'm actually also a T5 complete paraplegic. So unfortunately in 2013, I was involved in a motorcycle accident, which left me paralyzed from the chest down. But you know, that hasn't really stopped me from doing everything that I want to do because I feel we all have our challenges and I'm just trying to work around mine. At the moment, I'm currently based in the West Rand of Johannesburg. The small business that I own is actually um, in the education space. So when I was still in hospital and rehab, I was a bit frustrated because I wanted to uh, pursue my studies, um, you know, while I was in recovery. And I started studying through correspondence and I realized that students didn't necessarily have as much adequate support for free that they could, um, that they could utilize to achieve their goals and to get their qualifications. So I ended up building a website from my bed um, I knew nothing about programming at the time, um, however, after long hours of work, um, I was able to, you know, build this business and fortunately last year we hit uh, just under 500,000 users, so I'm very fortunate about that. Um, and I'm also involved in the non-profit space where we try to raise money through an organization called Ocal Global, where we raise money for, you know, people with spinal cord injuries or, you know, just people that are sort of... I don't want to say forgotten, but are disenfranchised in society. Um, and we try to do our best to bridge those gaps. You know, I think just personally for me, I unfortunately went through some really dark times emotionally. So once I decided to live, I decided to live intentionally as well. And I feel like, you know, I've only got one ride at this life, so I might as well make it as best as possible. Um, I would say that's why I do and I try to explore as many things as I can, especially like, you know, in business and with friendships and people. Um, but when it comes to my motivation, I've realized that personally for me, motivation is not a good enough driving force simply because um, when I have my bad days, that does that mean that work should stop? Does that mean that I should, you know, stop pursuing my goals and my dreams? Um, so yeah, for me, like that's kind of what keeps me going. Um, when I am motivated, I have like great days, but when I'm not, I still try to put systems in place that allow me to do what I do. I normally wake up in the morning like every other human being. Um, but so my workstation is actually like, let me see if I can tilt it for you guys, is actually like right next to my bed. Um, so like that's my PC right there. That's my workstation. Um, hope that's back in order. Um, but yeah, I wake up and I fire up my computer and I literally just turn on my calendar and I see what is on my list of things to do. So normally I would work up until about 12 o'clock and then if I have therapy, I would go to therapy and do my exercises there. If not, I tend to go to the gym. Um, and then after being at the gym for about three hours. Um, not that I train very hard, but I just allow myself enough time to be able to use the equipment properly, right? Um, yeah. Um, what do I do after that? I normally make some food after while listening to an audiobook, and it will all depend on meetings. But generally speaking, I think my days are quite sporadic. It all depends on my calendar for, for that day or for that week. Oh man, there's so many things to look forward to. Um, so at the moment, uh, of course, I think I want to, you know, graduate my finance degree because I actually left my finance degree in my final year to pursue software engineering full time uh, two years ago. Um, and now that that chapter is done in my life, um, I do want to finish the finance chapter just so that, you know, if I do decide, not if actually, when I do decide to do my honors and my masters, at least I don't have that, um, you know, hanging over me, um, especially if, um, especially if I want to go into business full time, you know, it's just a little bit better to get those things out of the way for now. Um, but in terms of like my own personal space, I think like I'm, I'm just excited to see like what I can do in the future. And I don't mean to sound cheesy, as cheesy as that sounds, but I think for a very long time, emotionally, I put myself in a box because of 
my accident and the body that I have. And over the last two years, especially, you know, learning how to stand and being able to take my first steps as well, um, you know, it's motivated me and pushed me to think that, you know, let's see what this body can do um, for the plus minus 60 years I have left in it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much me. Uh, I try to share some of my journeys online. So um, if you guys want to check that out, I mean, my, my, my social media handles are Hello Sandile. And yeah, you can check me out on YouTube, Instagram. If you guys have any questions as well, please don't be shy to reach out. But yeah, I hope that's pretty much it.